guys, this is Brandy, otherwise known as Mystery of Diamonds, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hey y'all. Okay, so um, this is my whipping chat for Smashing the Specials, hashtag Smashing the Specials 2021, that I am doing with Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment. Now, I, I do realize that, you know, Mindy, um, I was trying to get mine up earlier in the week. Uh, I did record this. In fact, this is try number three <laughs> because technology so I'm hoping I can remember a lot of the stuff that I said in uh, version one and version two um, I had to end up redoing a whole bunch of stuff on my computer because uh, something obviously got catawampus and so I apologize I was gonna try to get this up earlier but um, I did have to go back to school this week and well let me just tell you <laughs> let me just tell you we had a we, we had a busy time at our school trying to get everything ready um, and of course while I was at school for those that are wondering um, I do have a brace my my wrist is getting better but I'm still not supposed to be uh, like and I, I put it tighter but then I get these weird ridges on my hand or on my arm uh, when I do but uh, basically, I was taking desks down uh, to put the room back in order, and one fell faster than I was anticipating, and my wrist kind of went with it, and uh, I heard a crack. It did not break, though. It did not break. Uh, what I just heard, I think, was like popping, um, like, like your joints do, um, because it did swell. Um, the swelling is down, which is good, um, so that's a good sign for me. Um, as far as I know, I don't think anything is torn or anything. I know nothing's broken. They did an x-ray. Um, but I have been having to keep it as immobile as possible and not um, turn the whole wrist. So, like, if I turn, i got to turn my whole hand. So, yeah, this has been fun. Let me tell you, I, I have learned one-handed stuff is not as easy. Like, I can, I can grip with my fingers. I'm not supposed to actually grasp, grasp. Um, stuff so I, I, I grip with my fingertips <laughs> it's, it has been interesting let me tell you um, but I also want to say real quick before we get started you're probably gonna see some videos uh, released hopefully this week that you don't see the brace that was because those were filmed prior to my accident um, this is the first thing that I have filmed um, since my accident um, so you won't see my brace in those like I said um, hopefully I won't have to have this brace on much longer I'm supposed to go back this upcoming week uh, to have it checked um, but considering that I can't see any more swelling it feels like it's getting better it's not as painful um, that's mostly gone away so I'm, I'm hoping that I will be able to be off of this next week are this upcoming week so we have fit okay I'm not gonna cross this fingers. fingers crossed that that's what's gonna happen okay so let me see if I can remember some of the stuff because this is this is a different project than what I've had the first and the second time you know because uh, I don't like starting a project and then um, not completing it so like I had filmed and then I'd finished the project and then it didn't work and so then I got a new project yeah okay so this is project number three that I'm starting with this <laughs> okay so um now one of the things I will tell you in case you're wondering what you're gonna see me sort of kind of do and and go through as I talk to you um is these are keychains right and I know that they're Halloween keychains and I know that we're in August but you know I in my household Halloween is year-round I love me some Halloween uh, and these you drill on both sides but when I'm working on keychains because usually if I'm working on special drills I open up a package and I do that drill on everything until I'm done with that number and then I go to the next but with the problem with keychains because you drill both sides I don't like having a sticky side open where it sits on something and I know I know I could sit it on a release paper because um, I've thought about that as well I mean I could I could put this on the release paper and whatnot and it would be okay um, but the problem is is that I would have to have a whole bunch of release papers. I, I just I just I don't I 
don't necessarily like messing with that. So usually what I do is I just, I get me some of my, all of us have these little extra bags, right? You know, and, and all I do is I just get up in the little extra bags because when I flip it over, then I, I'm done. So there's no need to do a big, a big kit up thing. So while I talk to you, I am going to be uh, going ahead and kitting up in my little baggies, my little baggies. Um, so this event, uh, I'm going to talk about the event first, is our second annual Smashing the Specials 2021. So we, um, we're we doing this a couple of different ways. Uh, the first thing is, you know, we want you to smash the specials. That means we want your finishes, right, um, and post it on Instagram. And you say, well, wait, 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 what if I don't have Instagram? Okay, seriously, get in here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Struggle. Okay. Um, if you don't have Instagram, you can email either Mindy or myself. Um, and I don't remember if I said this at the beginning. And if I, if I did, just forgive me for repeating it. Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment is my partner. And I do have her channel linked uh, in the description below. And so if you do not have Instagram, um, then you can email one of us your picture and we will post it for you on Instagram um, and like I said we're just wanting finishes so that I can you know I, it's easier for me to keep up with now there is a weekly part to this and there is a grand prize part to this okay um, the, we are still getting everything together for the grand prize so I'm not going to go into exactly what that is yet but uh, it will be a prize that I think that y'all will really enjoy because uh, like I said we're working on a couple of different things the weekly prizes so how do you get prizes period so the first thing is if you are wanting to enter into Mindy and I's weekly prizes we have each of us have one on our channel okay you're to watch our whipping chat so like you'll watch this whipping chat and you will comment on the whipping chat okay and then we'll do a random comment picker and choose so that when I do my second whipping chat which since I'm putting this out on this day which uh, right now uh, I, I'll probably end up having to do them on Saturday or Sunday um, because I can tell I during the week is just uh, a lot more difficult for me um, especially since I have a new subject that I have to do extra stuff to prepare for um, so that leaves me the weekends are easier so my whipping chats will probably be up on either Saturdays or Sundays um, so the next one will either be Saturday or Sunday um, and so I'll announce the first winner of the first uh, weekly giveaway next week okay in the next whip and chat whip and chat number two um, and so what little prize I'm, I'm gonna be giving away a special drill project you know I mean it's not a large prize and I'll, I'll probably throw in some other little goodies in there um, but you will get a special and I will show you uh, before I announce the winner what the what the prize actually is that'll be sent out um, so for the weekly, and I know I should be working as I'm talking to y'all because, you know, it's supposed to be a, a whip, a work in progress, right? <laughs> You're supposed to be working with me and I'm not working all that well. Um, and, but so if you want the into the weekly giveaways, then you watch our whipping chats and comment. Um, now, you might have to pay attention because I may ask you to comment something specific. You know, so you want to watch all the way through to the end of the whipping chat to make sure that if I have any specific little instructions that I want you to comment, okay? Um, now, sorry, I'm trying to do all this uh, while I'm talking to you. Uh, the grand prize, okay? 
in order to be entered into the grand prize you are posting your finishes for your specials because like I said we are smashing them you post your finish on Instagram under the hashtag smashing no G and I'll try to put that up here hashtag smashing the specials 2021 okay there's no G in that and um, I am keeping a list of all of the finishes and your name and all that good kind of stuff and I'm putting it you're you're getting so you're getting an entry for every set of smashles S set of smashles Wow set of specials so like this right here you see how this came with one set of diamonds okay it didn't come with multiple sets that's because this those diamonds are all used on all these keychains so this I have to complete all the keychains front and back to be considered a project okay now there are some projects that are easier to do like a bookmark or something like that that's only one-sided or whatever if it comes with one set of drills it's considered one project okay so you wouldn't be able to give me one keychain and say okay I'm done no nope. keychains come in a set unless they are the um, the they have these that are like jewelry ones uh, that are metal um, and then they have the letters and I know the letters do come individual but usually the keychains come in a set uh, so just make sure that you are completing the whole set that comes with the uh, the drills okay um, and so each finish that you do in the month of August we're doing this all the month of August will get you an entry into the grand prize and goodies and stuff that we've got in store um we will possibly be doing some uh because we're going to do weapon chats every week but there's a possibility that we may have some additional surprises coming up we may you may see us and i just lost track of what number that was sorry um you may see us on each other's lives um throughout this month so i don't know we'll have to see we'll have to see right um so i hope that you will follow along with us um and enjoy that i think as far as this month that's all that um that i have um news wise for the channel uh well i mean as far as events um i know that next month september is my birthday month oh my gosh y'all huh i am i am i don't know i i used to look forward to my birthday every year um i'm, I'm kind of not looking forward to to birthdays now because you know i just get older and older um and then of course i have where my middle child is moving out so this is my second child that is moving out she's moving out this month um i am you know and i i hope she tells me she's going to call me all the time but if first child is any indication well she's going to be busy and when she gets busy she's going to forget she swears she's not going to forget but i'm probably just going to end up calling and bugging her like i call and bug my other one um, I try not to do it too often because I don't want them to get agitated and never want to answer the phone. But I I thought it would be easier second go around. It's not easier second go around. Um, I'm, I'm just as emotional <laughs> uh, with this one moving out as the other one. And then I've only got one left in the house. I'm getting close to empty nest and I don't like it. I don't like it. And that other one, my baby. My baby is a senior this year in high school. Y'all... What happened to my babies like they're still my babies to me but at the same time they're not babies anymore which they remind me of all the time and I'm like I don't care how old you get I don't care you will always and forever be my baby you could be you could be 60 70 years old if I'm still alive and you'll be, you know even if I'm dead you're still my baby okay got it that's how that's how that works um, forever and always and I said you'll understand that when you have kids of your own which by the way don't don't make me a grandma super early I'm not ready to be a grandma yet I want to be a grandma at some point just not now just not now I'm too it's too young too young for for grandma um I have I have 
I'll do I'll do pets. Okay, I do have a I have a grand puppy. I do have a grand. I actually have two grand puppies. Um, Anubis is my grand puppy, and that one's Jasmine's bebe. And then I have um, Aloy, which is Chris's bebe, little pupper pupper. And Aloy used to be known as Bella when I named her when she was one of the pups. Um, one of Luna, my my Dotson's pup. Uh, but Chris changed it to Aloy, and Aloy is just as cute as he could be. Looks just like her father, um, Tiny, which is our other Dotson. So cute, so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, I'm. I am not necessarily looking forward to. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have complete empty syndrome because according to, according to my son. He says that, I'm trying to get this plastic off, y'all. He says that he doesn't plan on going anywhere. Um, but, you know, I know he's got plans for possibly military. Um, <coughs> okay, this is this is being a, a foo-foo head. Foo-foo head. Foo-foo head. We're going to try to get this off. Um... So, I'm hoping that, I don't know, I don't want my kids all to go away, but I know that that's part of life, right? They got to grow up. They got to they gotta do their own thing. That doesn't mean that we got to like it, right? <laughs> you just, I think it's weird because, you know, you get so used to your kids being at, you know, every day, you see, you see them every day, right? And you get used to that and after you've gotten used to it it's it's difficult to not not see them anymore um so i guess that's where i get the sadness from it's not that i don't want my kids to grow up and have lives of their own i just you know i just i'm i miss them i miss them every day i miss being able to to walk in there and be like what you doing what's going on How's everything going? Um, so, yeah. I'm hoping that she'll call and tell me about her day. She is... I'm really, really proud of her. She is going up to FSU. And she is going to be... Uh, she's working towards becoming a forensic pathologist. Which I am so excited for. Because uh, for those that don't know, I teach forensic science at the high school that I work at. Um, I'm the one that brought it to the school. I'm the only one that does it in the district because I I love forensic science. And speaking of forensic science and my channel, um, I am going to be going back to doing Forensic Fridays. Um, I am hoping to be able to get up the first one uh, this upcoming week. Um, and so, Forensic Fridays is where I am going to talk about a forensic case. I'm going to tell you the story, tell you what's going on. And then, at the end, I'm going to give you a little, I'm going to read you a small mini mystery. And I'm going to ask you to try to see if you can figure out what happened in the little mini mystery. And so, like, when you make a comment, you'll comment you know first off you can comment about the case what you thought about the case and everything and then you can comment what you think the answer to the mystery is and so when I start the next forensic Friday I will give the answer to the mystery and you never know I I may do a small little giveaway for um, Forensic Fridays every now and then. I haven't decided yet. I am looking into that possibility. So there is something there to maybe hopefully y'all will want to come and watch and see what's going on. Um, if you like Forensic Files, that is definitely something that I will be. Uh, in fact, the, the one I've got coming up is I'm going to be because, you know, I've talked in the past about very popular cases right cases that there's no ones on that one um cases that are very familiar um or that are high profile cases 
And I kind of wanted to, because with my students, one of the things that got me started in this is that I do a Forensic Files Friday, uh, where we watch an episode of Forensic Files, and they have a, uh, questions they have to answer about it and everything, you know, so that I know that they're paying attention. And I try to make sure that it fits, um, it fits whatever we're talking about in the class, uh, that the Forensic Files goes along with it. Um, so I kind of decided I wanted to try some of this. this is something new for me as far as um, I am going to discuss a forensic files case and I'll give you all the details of the case I'll give you like what they discovered what they found uh, what forensics were used um, all of that because I kind of want you to be able to um, envision it uh, and see you know kind of like you're kind of like you're watching the show but not watching the show I know that sounds really weird and I, I like I said I'm not positive if it's gonna work but I've got my fingers crossed that it will work um, and that y'all will enjoy it so um, there's that that's what I'm going to be starting um, back because I mean uh, like I said I've done forensic Friday and then uh, I kind of got busy with other stuff and got uh, bought away from it but I'm trying my best y'all I, I do have a lot of stuff going on a lot of people think uh, that I've got too much stuff going on and they're like how are you gonna diamond paint how are you going to y'all I'm always gonna find a way to do my crafts um, because right now uh, yes school has started back so I do have that I do my diamond painting um, I do have a miniature that I am working on um, I have my Etsy shop with my nails and I'm also working on making because uh, I've gotten into resin so I am now uh, trying to get some resin pieces made that I can uh, turn into cover minders um, to add to my shop so I do have that oh and I can't get this off here um, so I am aware I am one of these people that I and I do have my uh, crocheting right now can't crochet so that's a craft that I can't do right now um, because I have to have this hand uh, when I crochet so there's there's no doing any of my crochet right now um, but I'll get back to it once I can twist my wrist again um, but I, I'm one of those that I like a variety of crafts. Um, but that's one of the reasons why I love, love, love doing the special drill projects. Because, you know, it's not a large canvas. Um, it doesn't take like, you know, like this project right here. Um, I'll be finished with this, you know, within, you know, a couple of hours, if that and um i don't know it's just there it's a and it's a break from big canvases and stuff like that i do have big canvases on the side that i still have to finish because i did not finish uh my crystal canvas arts uh canvas so i've got to finish it and i've got um some others that i'm working on but i I like doing the special drills right now and that's one of the reasons why I am so happy that Mindy has you know allowed me to be her partner last year and this year um, because we both love our special drill projects and she's the one that actually started enabling me uh, when I used to watch her channel and be like oh I love me some special drills those are pretty and so I got I got my first special drill because I saw one of the things that she showed and I went and got it so um mindy i love you but you're the one that got me the special drill addiction <laughs> um and so i'm hoping that you guys will have fun and y'all will enjoy this and everything um let me see do i have anything else new to my channel i'm trying to think um i know that i've had uh, a couple of people ask me if I am going to start memberships or Patreon, um, the answer to that right now is not right now. And the 
I, I may consider it at a later date, but at present, the answer is no, because I, I feel like that I, with everything that I'm having to do right now, and especially working, that I wouldn't be able to give y'all the extra stuff that I would want you guys to be able to have. Like, the only thing that I know that I could do would be a monthly giveaway, um, and, you know, maybe discounts to my shop, um, you know, but, uh, and I, I might could make a few videos, but I, like I said, it'll, it'll come down the pipe maybe later. Uh, so right now for those that have asked, um, the only thing that I have, uh, to support my channel is the buy me a coffee, which I've called it buy me a dragon drink. And so I do have that in the description. You most certainly don't have to. All you really need to do to support me is to watch my videos and comment and interact with me. You know, that's all I ever require. Um, but I, I'm just answering the question that I've had a few, a few people have, have sent me these questions and asked. And so because um, I don't talk about it a lot on my uh, my videos um, because like I don't I don't want to I, I, I just I don't know I appreciate each and every one of you and I appreciate anything and everything that you guys do you know just y'all just being here and being part of my channel and being part of my family um, means more than you'll ever know um, and so you know, if you do the Buy Me a Dragon Drink, it all goes back into my channel and me being able to get more stuff to show you guys and share with you guys and give back um, from time to time that I can try to do, you know, because I love doing collabs and I love doing giveaways um, and everything. So I'm hoping that y'all enjoy watching these things, you know, because I just, I enjoy talking to y'all. I know some of y'all may think, uh, especially if you haven't really seen me uh, in a while, I am, yeah, I'm a little, uh, my students call me extra, right? I'm a little extra. Um, but the thing is, that's my personality. That's who I am. I am, um, I try to be positive by nature. Um, I try to look at the brighter side of things and I try to be p kind and pleasant, but I'm also a little kooky crazy, right? You know, I have a tendency to, uh, my students laugh at me because I have a tendency to talk to inanimate objects. And I've done that my entire life. My own personal kids um, laugh at me because they're like, oh my gosh, mom, are you talking to your camera again? And I don't mean when I'm filming. Um, well, sometimes when I'm filming, if it decides to act all crazy, I'll be like, I'll, I'll talk to it. And then I also have, like, um, now that I'm doing my nails and my resin pieces, uh, there's a lot of fumes that go around with that. <laughs> I just now got uh, a, um, a fume mask. Like, seriously, look at this thing. This thing looks like I'm ready to go... I don't know, like outer space, right? So, but I just now got this, right? So, um, the fumes are, whoo, <laughs> they can make it, yeah, they're, they're a little, whoo, out there. And so, um, you know what? I'm just going to pick from there. It doesn't, I don't have to go in, al in alphabetical. Wow. I don't have to go in numerical order. I can go in whatever order I feel like. I, but I do like doing the rhinestones because... Then I leave the bigger spots. I started trying to do what Mindy says. I leave the, the special shapes for later. Um, now, this women chat probably will not be very long. And I, I do apologize. Um, I don't know. My It's easier for me to upload like a 30 to 40 minute video than it is uh a longer video so hopefully that will be okay with you guys um but yeah I like say if I'm in the classroom I was talking about uh talking to inanimate objects so like for instance um if the projector starts acting up which it does have a tendency to do uh although this uh this year should not be as bad because um i got a new projector from what i saw i've got a new projector so that's going to be fun 
um, so maybe it won't do messed up things and hopefully the kids don't have a code that they do something in their phone um, the reason I say that is that these kids are geniuses y'all they when it comes to technology these kids know all kinds of stuff um, like they were able to do something to my projector where they could turn it off and I'd be like y'all seriously whoever's turning off my projector or they would switch it or something I'm like y'all it's not gonna stop us from doing the lesson I'll just go up here and teach it on the board so you're not getting out of notes and then all of a sudden it would come back on I'm like mm-hmm see um, but if it would start messing up I'd start talking to it and be like hey hey do you want to get smacked projector I will get my ruler out projector <laughs> you know and the kids think it's funny right you know and I don't know it's just one of those things that I I know that y'all I know that the stuff's not going to talk back to me but sometimes if you talk nice to it sometimes whatever it does what you want it to do right <laughs> um, I think part of that is that you know I grew up as an only child like I had two half brothers but I only saw them pretty much once a year so you know I was an only child and you know as an only child you sometimes you have to make your own entertainment okay sometimes you got to make your own entertainment um and so you know and I know because I've watched people I've watched other people other people talk to their objects as well be like hey stop messing around you know like maybe their vacuum cleaner doesn't want to work or their TV or something they'll go up there and be like hey hey I said work you know so I know that I'm not the only one I've seen people I have seen it with my own little Azzy's eyes um so I'm not alone in that I know that let me know if you're if you've ever talked to any of your stuff to try to get it to work like maybe your washing machine dishwasher any of that I know sometimes trying to get my kids to do something feels like I'm talking to an inanimate object because they don't give me answers back sometimes other than maybe sometimes I might get up mm -hmm, and I'll be like you didn't even hear me did you did, did you hear what I said I'm like yeah I heard you okay what did I say oh my god mom not right now and I'm like Mm -hmm. that's what I thought you didn't hear what I said and now you're going to get angry to act like you knew what I said <laughs> um, although technically I guess I only have one teenager uh, in the house because my others are in there Jasmine is 21 you know and Chris is in his 20s so yeah I only have one technical teenager in the house um, but y'all let me tell you sometimes Sometimes that makes up for it because, you know, I'm telling you, when I when I became a parent, uh, that's when the new stuff started as far as I grew up pretty much, as like I said, as an only child. I didn't have other people there, you know, so if something broke, I'd look like a crazy fool trying to blame it on somebody else. Now, granted, I did try to blame it on my invisible friend, which my mom never believed me, um, so I understood, <laughs> uh, you know, but because if you got one child, if, if something had broke and you didn't do it that child did it right um, I learned real quick that when you have three children especially um, I guess this happens if you have no matter how many extra kids you know if you've got more than one kid something breaks usually Chris and Jasmine ganged up on Danny because he was the youngest be like Danny did it um, there were times they would yell Danny did it when Danny was right next to me during the whole thing and I'm like mm-hmm you know, so the problem is, is trying to figure out who did it, because they don't always rat out the correct person. Um, they don't always rat out their siblings, period. And so then I'm left trying to figure out who in the world, and so I'm just like, you know what, fine. If I don't know who did it, then you all get to punishment. I mean, I, I don't know what else to do. You either tell me who did it, or everybody gets punished. Um, and then they're like, there's no affair. I'm like, well, then tell me who did it. Uh, I also never with the exception of my cousin I had a cousin that I was really close to during the summer uh, she was eight years younger than me so she wasn't even that close in age you know when she used to follow me around so I was a teenager she was a child and that used to annoy me um, so I don't really understand and I have a little feeling of what having a sibling is like but not a ton um, so I was not prepared for the sibling fights oh my goodness you know because I always wanted like I even I even begged my mother I even begged my mother I'm like mom can you go adopt me a sibling I wanted a brother I wanted specifically I wanted an older brother right um that's what I asked for my mom's like 
excuse me? I'm like, can you go adopt me an older brother? And she's like, uh, no. <laughs> um, she's like, what is wrong with you? Because I always wanted one of my friends who had siblings. They're like, don't ask for that. You don't want that. And I'm like, yes. Yes, I do. Um, but I don't know. After listening to my kids, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Because I always envisioned that if I had a sibling, you know, that would be my person that would be my playmate that would be my confidant that would be my person that I could just go and talk to and um, share everything with uh, you know that's that's why I wanted a sibling and so you know that's the person you're supposed to just absolutely love I thought but not all siblings are like that and I have I have discovered now I know that my kids love each other even though they argue with each other because let somebody else do something to them and they can literally be in the middle of a fight right and um so like danny could say something about someone that did something to him and then like instantly the fight stops and like jasmine or about, all right who's this person where do they live where do i need to go so it's one of those i guess they can mess with danny but nobody else better you know so they can mess with each other but nobody else better so uh, that was something that I learned being uh, a parent uh, and so that's been interesting okay really I'm trying to get this to come off of the drill pen sometimes I use the wax pencils and sometimes I don't and I felt like using a pen today for I don't know why I, I wish I could figure out why because I'm sticking myself all to the thing um, but yeah, I, and I enjoy being uh, a parent, except when they're screaming at each other. Because then, I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe if any of you guys who have uh, multiple kids, when they're, when they're out there screaming at each other, I kind of feel like maybe I've done something wrong, I've, I've, I've raised them wrong or something. I've tried my best to make them into caring, loving people and to, to love each other so I don't... Like, I feel like I've done something wrong. Is that a normal feeling? Or should I, you know, or am I like alone on that one? I could be. I very well could be alone in that feeling. But I just, I want them to love each other. And maybe, maybe now that they're older and they're moving out, maybe they'll be closer to each other although I would thought if they were going to be closer to each other they'd be closer when they lived in the same house to each other that was what I thought but you know I have I have since discovered that I am wrong <laughs> on that front um let's see was there anything else I mean I there's guys there's all kinds of things that I can talk about uh but um I think looking at the time I think I have talked long enough so let me go ahead and say first off thank you so much for joining Mindy and I in our smash in the specials uh, I plan on getting lots more done because I have a lot to go and um, so I I got I don't know I I just I want to smash as many as I want as I can because I use these as uh, Christmas presents now these um, since they're Halloween uh, I'm not sure I actually I have some people in mind for them but not for Christmas presents for Halloween presents um, I know that sounds really strange right Halloween present but yeah Halloween present uh, so <laughs> but I do like doing special drill projects because they make really good Halloween projects and then I just seal mine and for those that might be interested if you've not ever seen it um, I seal mine with this Liquitex high gloss varnish um, it keeps the shine keeps the drills on there and everything is wonderful and I love it love it love it okay um, so you have stuck around what do you have to do to be entered into the first whipping and chat number one so this is whipping and chat number one on whipping and chat number two I'm gonna draw my person so what I want to know in the comments is tell me what is your favorite type of special drill project 
Um, you know, is it keychains, notebooks? Like, what's your favorite type of special drill project and why? I'm always curious to see what everybody's favorite is and see if there's any new ones out there and, and why. You know, for instance, my favorite um, so far has been, um, actually, I don't know, because I've changed, as far as all the ones that I've done, I like the canvases, but I think my favorites are the bookmarks and the keychains. Um, because I'm a big reader and so I like the bookmarks. I actually do use them in my classes and I like giving them away. I use them in my books. Um, so, uh, yeah, the bookmarks and the keychains. I love the fact that they come, you know, you usually have multiple in a kit, right? And so you can get it knocked out and you have multiple little gifts that are so cute. So those are, those are mine. Um, I, oh, and the stickers, I like the stickers because I have ideas that I do with the stickers. I like to take them and put them on little notebooks and give the notebooks out as little prizes uh, and gifts to my, not prizes. <laughs> yeah, it's a Christmas prize. Christmas gifts to my, <laughs> my people at work and stuff. All right, so um, I have blathered on long enough. Uh, so yes, if you will leave that, tell me your favorite special drill project and why in the comments. And then next week I will do a random comment generator. And as long as you have done that, then uh, you will be eligible. And then you'll need to make sure, please make sure though, to check um, and watch the video. Because if you win, I'm gonna ask you to contact me so that I can get your information, okay? And I wanna, I don't wanna have to do a redraw if I don't have to. I wanna be able to get it to the people that it is, okay? And don't forget for the grand prize to be putting your finishes in. Hashtag, I'm gonna put it up here again. Hashtag, smashing the specials 2021. So thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed this whipping chat. If you have, please hit that thumbs up button down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and become part of my crazy dragon family and uh, just make sure that you hit that bell icon for all notifications so that you know anytime that I put up a video or anytime that I go live I usually go live on Monday nights at 7 o'clock central uh, I hope to see you guys there so I'm gonna leave you like I always do reach for the stars grab hold hold on and never let go until my next video <laughs> bye guys